I didn't shoot any video of me doing this, but... Ah. <laughs> oh, darn it. Goats, don't do that. Bad goats. Big things are happening here at Ivy Acres. Ridgeview Mini Barns, the same folks who built this goat shed, are building two more structures for us. We wanted the buildings to match this one. The first one is going to be a covered deck, and it'll go right in front of their goat shelter, so our goats will have a, a dry place to hang out outside of their stalls. The other one is going to go in front of our barn shed. It'll have one more goat stall along with extra storage space for feed. Once these structures are in place, we can finally put in our permanent fencing. My task in this video is to prepare for the installation of these buildings. I've already prepared this site. The two by fours. Are laid out just so you can get a, a better idea of the footprint for the new building. I didn't shoot any video of me doing this, but... Ah. <laughs> oh, darn it. Goats, don't do that. Bad goats. Ugh. I didn't shoot any video of that, but it was never going to be very exciting watching me dig into hard-packed gravel. <laughs> As you can imagine, the goats were helpful chewing on the wheelbarrow handles and generally getting in the way. Actually, they cleared out pretty well when I started using the pickaxe. I think it was probably just the sound that scared them off rather than the flying bits of gravel. The ground out here was already almost level, but I did need to lower it overall a little bit. Everywhere except this back edge that was the lowest spot. We wanted the deck to be a little bit more even with the threshold level going into the goat stalls. So that's why I had to dig down overall and just lower the ground level in general. Digging up hard packed gravel was more difficult than just digging into hard dirt. This front corner was the highest spot and therefore had the thinnest layer of gravel so I dug and scraped the gravel away from an area about that big a pretty good sized corner worth of that area was dug out after the gravel was removed from that corner I dug down into the dirt way deeper than I needed to just so I'd have room to shovel in gravel from everywhere else that gravel was so mixed up with goat poop hay dust and dirt that it just wasn't worth using again as any kind of clean gravel. The more or less clean fill dirt was piled up over here in a low spot. This low spot was actually created when one of the trees fell during that ice storm a few years ago. We can't really fill in all of the low spots out here. This one, for instance, this low spot right here was dug out by the goats so they'd have a little bit more comfortable place to lie down in when they want to. This trashed fencing that was and still kind of is protecting this tree from our goats will have to go. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to replace it, how to do so, as well as if I'm going to, may become more apparent to me once we have our permanent perimeter fence established. I still have quite a bit to do to get ready for Ridgeview Mini Barn's delivery and installation. Obviously, this site still needs to be leveled. The flower bed back there is going to be under the new building, so I'm going to have to transplant the irises and crocosmia. 
those flowers will go over here. I think I'd enjoy this space a little better as a flower bed than just as a weird little patch of grass that always has to be mowed. I'll have to dig out the grass and amend the soil a bit here. The structures are being built off-site and delivered to us in one piece. The covered deck will be easy enough. We'll just take down this electric fence and they'll back it into position and deposit it right off the back of their trailer. The shed for over here is going to be the tricky one. They can't come in through the lawn because of our fruit trees. So I'm going to have to cut out a few branches from this tree and take this holly completely out. I'll just take out this scrubby regrowth from a tiny little tree stump right there. These larger log rounds will roll into the goat enclosure. I'm not sure if this tree stump will be in their way or not. So I'm not gonna do anything with that right now.
This next part is ridiculous. I gave the holly tree to our bucks. They wanted to eat it, but didn't really like the tough, sharp leaves. They did have a lot of fun playing with it, though. last part of this video is a sweet goat scene that shows how I used those big log rounds. Little stormtrooper here is our unicorn. Got one little horn.